Welcome to Sailing Ruby Rose. Now, our friends Nikki and Jason have an HH44 on order, and we are super keen to see that. However, the HH44 is not here, and so HH said, come and look at the HH66. This boat is insane, and it's not often I'm rendered speechless. This boat has rendered me almost speechless. It is a crazy, crazy lightweight, everything carbon fiber racing boat. A boat that will fly a hull in eight knots of wind. Nuts. Nikki and Jason, watch out. Let's go and see the HH66. I'm Teresa, this is Nick, and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we'd love to hear from you and a big thanks to our community of patrons. Hi everybody, my name's Seth, I'm with HH Catamarans. We are aboard the HH66 Nemo. Uh, this is probably the uh, grand uh, heavyweight champion of the catamaran racing world at the moment. Uh, one of the fastest cruising cats on the planet. Okay, <laughs> yeah, speechless. I mean, I'm, it I'm, is. I'm kind of mesmerized by the size of that winch. So let's, uh, let's go, Seth, take us through and show us everything. Okay, real quick tour. Yeah, let's start with the helm, I reckon. Okay, well, yeah, the helm's where it's all at, really. Uh, this boat is, it was designed uh, for an owner that basically wanted the fastest boat humanly possible uh, that you could still go cruising on. So what it is, is a 16 ton boat. Uh, these ginormous Z boards, uh, when they're fully deployed, they'll actually reduce the boat's displacement by about eight tons. So it's really an eight ton boat with a 30 meter tall mast, all North 3D I sails. And it basically, it flies a hull in eight knots of true wind. And it almost reaches double wind speed, so it'll be going about 14, 15 knots. <laughs> it's pretty tricked out, so your you know your sailing systems are all really you know push button. Uh, you've got an electric traveler port to starboard. Uh, this is a pneumatic main sheet, so you'd be sheeting in and sheeting out. You'd really be kind of flying the boat with these controls. And if there's an emergency issue, you just hit the sheet dump, and that'll dump the main by about a meter a second. And so that would save the boat if there were some you know big gusts that came onto the boat. Uh, this this position is also really important because they are also controlling the dagger boards. Uh, you can control the rake, uh, obviously the height of these boards, and then the boat even has T rudders. So you have a rudder with a foil in the back, and those have elevators as well. So you can adjust the rudders and the dagger boards to help uh, lift the boat up and you know get rid of that displacement. So it's a really important role right here. Uh, of course, you've got the skipper, and then you have a you know a, a trimmer on your big asymmetrical sails down here. So. That would be kind of the three people controlling the boat while it's under sail. Uh, but you really do need about seven professional crew to race this boat. I'll bet. Okay. Yeah, that's a two unprofessional <laughs> crew in us. <laughs> no, this is, I mean, we, HH, we make cruising catamarans, but yeah. this boat is like really skews heavily toward racing. Yeah. So watch your step here. These boards, as I said, do rake, you know, back, backward and you know, fore and aft. So there is a bit of a hole there for them to move around. It's an amazing it's a fun boat to sail. No, 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 seriously, like it's not yeah. a lot that keeps me quiet. You it's seem a little speechless. I am. This is not a normal thing for you. No, I know. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. <laughs> uh, so up here we have a, a really kind of a customized rig. This is a Lorima rig, 30 meter rig, and then a Lorima uh, Longeron. As you can see, there's no furling sails. All the sails are really hanked on sails. Rotating mast. Rotating mast as well. Fuck. Yep. Cut that out. <laughs> Can you just explain why is the zip, the, the jib track? The... Yeah, that's pretty clever too. So the track, uh, you, we, we want to get as much out of the sail area as humanly possible. Yeah. So, you know, we would just have a normal circular track, but the track would be about here. So by adding that curve around the mast, we're able to get another six inches by, you know, probably 25 meters of additional right. sail area. So you've got very small trampolines on this boat, I see. Yeah, very small. Very small, like much smaller than sea wind trampolines. <laughs> And notice there's no crossbeam either. The boat's strong enough with all the carbon construction okay. that it doesn't even need a crossbeam. Wow. Yeah. This and is an amazing boat. All the hank on sails, you know, the rigging is all carbon, so solid carbon rigging. Yeah. Uh, the J1, 2, and 3, it'll all be hanked on. That's why you need a fairly large crew. It's not yep. really a boat you just kind of go out and unfurl the sails on. Uh, but, you know, obviously hanked on sails, you're eliminating the foil that goes up the front of the, of the uh, head stay. Wow. So that's weight. So everything again is about weight. All the deck gear is titanium. There's no stainless on the boat. What? Everything on the boat has been decided about weight. Yeah. Your, your stanchions are titanium. The stanchions are actually for CE certifications. The stanchions are fiberglass. 
and Dyneema. So right. that's probably the only fiberglass in the boat, really. Okay. Uh, they won't let us make it out of out of carbon fiber for the CE certification. But really, that's about it. When does the owner race this boat? Uh, he races it in all the big regattas against all the gunboats and you know, Fujin and all those you know, famous catamarans. So that's. BVI Race Week, Antigua, Lavoie, and nice. St. Bart's. So you have a carbon fiber cockpit table. All the furniture is carbon fiber, actually. So inside, this boat is an incredibly Spartan boat. So the owner really you know, is, is fully customizable in terms of the layout, in terms of the furniture. Again, the, the furniture would all be carbon fiber. This owner opted to have a real teak wood exterior. Um, it does have air conditioning. That's probably the one luxury that added a little bit of weight. Um, and then it has an ice maker and a wine fridge. But this entire unit is removable. So if you're racing the boat, you can take this off and leave it on the dock again for weight. Crazy. Is this all smart glass or is it just? It is. It's, it's like a Gorilla Glass. So it, it's, it's electronically controlled. So if you gave a charge to it, it would all go clear. Yeah, OK. And again, it's about not having the weight of curtains. Yes. Uh, so it's, wow. it's um, you know, a way to keep the boat cool without having to have all the curtains on the boat. <laughs> all right. And then uh, can we jump down here to the owner's hall? So it's a fast boat, but you know you still have room for your king size bed. Lots of headroom in, in, down here. Real glass windows. Again, carbon furniture, and don't forget to see the carbon fiber toilets. Nick, <laughs> you can demonstrate. You know you've made it when you've uh, used a carbon fiber toilet on a fabric. We have not made it. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, again, I don't have much to say. <laughs> Which is odd. I mean, what can you say about a boat like this? Well, just, wow. These cabins are Spartan. As I said, the design brief yeah. was to save weight, save weight, save weight. There is a lot of luxury here. I mean, look, just as a point, come in here. This is a wardrobe. It's a carbon fiber wardrobe, for uh, sakes. I think that the 44 has this kind of um, How? level of style as well. Yeah, but the carbon fiber wardrobe. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. So again, uh, workshop in here. Ah. So carbon fiber workshop. Um, we have like storage bins here, carbon fiber benches, all the tools you could need. So yeah, interesting little area. As with the HH44, Nikki and Jason's boat, we have two kind of like aft cabins. So again, we've got a very, very big bed in here. Carbon fiber toilet, carbon fiber wash basin, carbon fiber sponge, carbon fiber <laughs> wash towel, carbon fiber it's looking good today. Carbon fiber everything. It's like, yeah, it's a it's a, a carbon fiber dream. worker's wet dream. <laughs> Seriously, it is. It's an absolutely stunning piece of kit. Beautiful. The finish on this, actually what I would say to you about this, the finish on this boat is immaculate. Yeah. Like, no, whereas... Like looking at like this, what is, is that plastic? Yeah, oh, no, it's, no. no, it's just molding. That's but look, the, the, thing, the whole thing about this is if I look, if we look at finish, like, I, I personally, I, I get where it's coming from. The, 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 the owner specifies the look of the boat and he wants it all stripped out for racing. So the look of this, for me, it's, it's not personally what I want. It's not what I would like. And I think it's important to say that this is all completely customizable. So, you know, you wanted pink sofas, you get pink sofas, you wanted something else here, you get something else here. So, it, you know, we saw an HH with a piano on it for crying out loud ones. What I would say to you is, the finish on this boat is immaculate. Like there is not anything I picked up on. I'm like, that needs to be changed. That seam needs to be changed. This mastic line is not good enough. The quality of the finish here is as fine as I've ever seen on a boat. Yeah. Though, no, yeah. Line. Yeah, it's all, you know, it's super lightweight. Super, super lightweight. I mean, what, is this, what does he say this boat weighs? Um, but it's crazy light. Absolutely crazy light. You want to go through that forward door? Yeah, so again, we obviously have a forward facing door here. Um, and again, this is not a lounging area. This is not where you go to, to lounge. This is literally, it's, 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 it's spinnaker controls. So you've got these two crazy power winches there. It's a race boat, like flying a hull in eight knots. Yeah. That's, that's nuts. It is the, absolutely nuts. Seth just said that uh, 30 knots of boat speed is, is pretty much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Standard. So basically, you know, what is the point in talking about? There's no ventilation here. There's no <laughs> curtains. There's no this. There's no, this is not what this boat is meant for. This boat is meant to race. At some point, we will try and get onto this boat to race it. Oh, I'd be uh, terrified. Yeah, I would as well. We'd be sat in the corner shivering like shitting greyhounds. And we would just be literally dead weight because yeah, well, we, we wouldn't would. be able to contribute at all. No, no, we wouldn't. No, we think it's a professional race crew. But it's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, there's not what else I can say. 
Boat is going to see yourself mommy in this boat though? Nah. Nah. No nah. It's not me. I literally, I'm, yeah. It's, it's so beautiful, but this is a race boat. And it, it's scared, like even being on here in the in dock scares me. I mean, you said you have to like literally breathe if there's any wind at all, even just a few knots. That for a game of soldiers. So what did you think? HH66, I love it. I absolutely love it. Is it for me? Clearly not. If I had the money, would I buy it? Clearly not. But it is some other person's wet dream and I can see exactly why. Super lightweight, super well built, super beautiful, super fast. Needs a full racing crew to get the best out of this. In fact, probably to not kill yourself doing it. But we love it. We absolutely love the build quality. And it's going to be pretty evident that this is actually going to filter down into Nikki and Jason's boat, the HH44, which we hope to review very, very soon. So if you like that, give us a comment. Leave us a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe to the channel if you are just wandering in here to see exactly what we're going on about. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Take care. Bye-bye.